All right, so over the last week or so, we've been doing a lot of work in the fish room. Lisa's actually doing work as we speak, changing water in hospital tanks and everything else. But we've got something that is number one on the agenda for today, and that is these doors. The weather's starting to get a little cooler outside. These doors are gonna be a problem. These are just metal doors. There's no insulation to them at all. So today we're gonna to insulate the doors. We're also gonna do a little bit more soundproofing of the room. Uh, if you look around, I'll try to go slow. You can see these panels that we've put all over the place. I don't know if that's already made a difference in the sound, but we've got one there. We've got one over here. I've got a couple on the ceiling and then also uh, up above the garage door. Got them all over the place and I even built this fancy little wall to go between her and I when we're doing the streams. So been doing a lot of that, but today got to insulate the door and do a little bit more soundproofing. But you know, let's do the doors first, one thing at a time. So the challenge when you're insulating a door like this is how do you do it? Well, I found this product here on Amazon. I'll show it to you in a, a little more detail as we go, but this is something I ordered off of Amazon. It's about 30 bucks per door, but I actually ordered four so that I could double up on the insulation on these doors. So I'm gonna start putting this on. It's a pretty simple peel and stick type insulation. We'll get this installed and see how well it helps to keep it a little warmer in here. We're not ready to add a heater yet, but that's coming soon. All right, so here we are with the finished product. We've got all of the insulation on the doors. It goes all the way down. I also added the acoustic panels to it. It not only makes it look better, but it's also gonna help with the echo. I added two more of the big panels over there. Those big panels, in case you're wondering, I bought little quarter inch pieces of MDF that are two feet by two feet, and I just put four of those on each one of those panels and then hung them up all over the place. Uh, yeah, you can see them throughout. I've even got some up here on the garage door openers just to, to help with the sound. I hope that it is helping. Let me know if you notice a difference in the echo in the room. I feel a difference in the room, so I feel like it's gonna make a, a big difference for the videos. So yeah, very easy to install this. It worked out really well. It looks pretty good. I mean, sure, a nice finished wall would look better, but I'm happy with the way it looks and I'm definitely happy with the way that it's going to help keep this room a little warmer. 
Okay, so once again, we've gotten into Doc Brown's DeLorean. We went 88 miles an hour and we fast forwarded to the next day. It is the day after I put all of this up. After doing all of that last night, I just didn't feel like making a video about it. So here we are the next day. I wanted to talk about the actual product that I use. Uh, this is the box. It's actually full of trash now, but um, Reach Barrier, I guess is the, the brand. Uh, garage door insulation kit, do it yourself. Uh, ordered it off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. Each one of these boxes I think was like $31 or something like that. And each box will do an entire door. So if you have a double door, you would need to get two boxes, just like I needed to get two boxes. But I actually bought four because I wanted to double it up. I don't know how much of a difference that's gonna make, but you know, they're so cheap, it only cost, what, 120 bucks to do the whole thing. It made sense to me to try to get it a little bit more insulated in here. So now the entire room is insulated quite well. We finally did the door. The air conditioner is gonna be coming out of the window, so that'll help there too. Above us is actually our master bedroom. So that's insulated very well. So the whole thing is insulated really nicely now. So the temperature is gonna turn here very soon and it will definitely come in handy. Now, if you're wondering about the acoustic panels that you see all over the place here now, uh, this is them. Again, I ordered them at the same time as I ordered the garage door insulation kit. Uh, these are just little one inch by 12 by 12 acoustic panels. I bought them in a, a pack. It was either 96 or 98, I think it was 96. And I think it was like $90 for these. So basically like a dollar a piece. Uh, very, very good, very easy to use. I mean, I, I'm not an audiophile. I'm not an audio engineer. I don't know if this is the good kind or what, but it seems to be doing the job. Like I said, I've noticed a difference doing a, a little bit of the preliminary editing, looking at the footage that I did yesterday, I could notice a difference. I don't know if you can, but I guess it's also gonna depend on where I am in the garage because where I'm standing here right now, I didn't really put a whole lot of attention into uh, soundproofing this area because I don't talk over here all that much. But over in the main area where all the big tanks are, I put a ton of these, as you see behind me, uh, and I also put them on the walls and up above and all of that, so I think it'll make a huge difference. Not only in the live streams, Tank Talk Live every Thursday night at 9 p.m. after Aquarium Co-op, um, the big deal is, will it help there? I hope it will. I took the little wall down that I had here yesterday just to get it out of the way because I don't want it getting damaged. It's a cardboard box wrapped in this stuff, so it's kind of fragile. So I wanted to just have it out of the way so we don't damage it. So. There you go. I mean, it's a pretty easy, simple thing to do if you're entertaining the idea of turning your garage into a fish room, this would be the way to insulate the doors if your doors are not already insulated. Now, as far as uh, what we're gonna do to heat this room, we're gonna use a space heater. Uh, we've got a window unit air conditioner, uh, which looks very ghetto right now in the window because we have a blanket above it and it looks kind of weird, but uh, that's what we use for air conditioning. And then we're gonna have a, a space heater. I'll show you that down the road, who cares about it? A space heater is a space heater, but we actually used to use it at our shop and it works really well. So that's what we're gonna use to heat this room when we need to. Right now, we don't really need to. Uh, the, the tanks themselves are actually keeping the room quite warm and you can see that because I'm sweating like crazy. But yeah, there you go. Easy to insulate a room. Uh, and, and as far as soundproofing goes, that's really not what this video was for. I was just kind of including that in here to show you that I did that also. I am dedicated to being better at these videos. So I wanted to soundproof this room. An echo is a horrible thing and it really bothers me, which is why I got my feelings so hurt on the live stream when people kept saying, echo, echo, echo. Anyway. So thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you were able to get something out of it if you're entertaining doing a project like this. Very, very easy. I mean, does it seal the doors absolutely perfect? No, because doors have cracks around them and stuff like that, but it's certainly better than having a little thin piece of metal, a little piece of aluminum or, or whatever it is, I think it's aluminum, between you and the elements. Doesn't really provide much insulation. So this is definitely gonna help and 
if you were thinking about doing something like this, I hope I've eased the, the stress of wondering if it's an easy project or not. Anyway, I'm rambling at this point. Thank you so much once again for watching. If you like this video, you wanna see other stuff, nothing at all like this, because my videos are usually about fish, but this was a project to facilitate fish. Anyway, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell so that you don't miss further episodes. And other than that, I'm gonna start, stop. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna start, I'm gonna stop rambling. See you next week. Oh, Lord.